In this lesson, we're going to be talking about OpenOffice. OpenOffice is a software package that you can download online free of charge. And you can use this software for any purpose whatsoever. It's a software suite that comes with a word processing program, a presentation package, uh, graphics, and you can actually even set up databases with it. This is actually a really wonderful program. It's, in my opinion, it's probably the best free program that you can download off the internet. If you can't afford Microsoft Office, and it really, even if you do have Microsoft Office, this is a really nice program to download for free. You may actually like it better than Microsoft Office. I have used it for different things for clients, and it really is a wonderful package. And to be honest with you, I'm surprised it's free. It's that good. What we're going to be talking about in this video, and most of the time that I'm talking about Open Office, is their presentation package. Because let's face it, that's what my website's all about. It's about presentations. This video is about Open Office and their software package or program called Impress. One of the things that they want to make sure that you know with this software, it's free software. You are free to download it free to install as on many PCs as you like, free to pass copies along to as many people as you like. You may use OpenOffice.org 3 for any purpose without restriction, private, educational, public administration, and commercial. And it says free, really free. Now I know that it's an open source code which means that it's put together by many different people. I do know that it's sponsored by Oracle. Uh, no reason why you shouldn't be able to download it and work with it and fall in love with it. It's a great program. So in order to uh, download it, you just go to their site. You would click on one of the many links that they have. It says Get Open Office. And you'll see from there that you can download version 3.30 at this point. They constantly make updates to this software. And when you log into your Open Office, on your PC it will even have list updates if updates are available so there's no reason for you to go back to the website to, to install an update. The first thing that you see when you start open office is that you'll see a start screen and on that start screen you'll see icons for text documents, spreadsheets, presentations, drawings, databases, formulas and there's even templates. Now you can start what type of program that you would like to start with an open office and if you look at the text document program they have you'll see that that's very similar to Microsoft Office and the same with their spreadsheet that's very similar to Microsoft Excel well we're not going to be going into any of those programs we're going to be concentrating on their presentation package and that's called Impress so if you start their presentation program it will say empty presentation from a template or open an existing presentation. We're not going to really be creating anything today. What I am going to do is show you how well Microsoft PowerPoint presentation opens up in Impress. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create just a blank presentation and I'm going to show you some of the tools that they have. So give you some familiarity with what they have. So if I hit create, boom, my program has opened and you'll see very similar look to this as you would Microsoft Here PowerPoint. Here in front of you, you just have a blank slide or a blank page. If you want to insert a page, you would go up to Insert and hit Slide. So you're inserting a slide. Now, in this slide, actually, you can either create a bulleted text slide or you can click on this Insert down here and you can insert either a chart a movie, a picture, or a table. So you have these options right off the bat. Now this is very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. So they actually have the same area in the center here that you can insert, you know, bar chart, table, things like that, or video. So this is very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint. But over in the layout section to the right, you can actually click on one of these thumbnails over here 
and like if I clicked on this one this is title and two content so if I click on that you'll see now this area here breaks up into two columns so if I just want title only you'll see that the title just appears so if I wanted just to center the text you'll see that that appears so they have all these different thumbnails over here that allow me to choose the layout that I want for that particular slide so if we wanted to just click up here again where it just said title and then comma content we can either add a bulleted text or we can actually click on one of these options down here to like insert a, uh, a chart so if I wanted to insert a chart all I do is click on insert chart and then you'll see that I have this chart that I can then go in and change okay so I have that chart then I can click off the chart and you'll see that that chart is now inserted but if I wanted to double click that again I'm back into the chart version of of this uh, presentation package in press in here I can go ahead and I can click on different things to adjust my chart whether it be uh, the size of the chart the data um, or the color like if I wanted to take that blue and I wanted to change that area of that blue to a different color let's say green I can hit OK and now that's green instead of blue if I hit outside the chart again I'm back to my slide and so you'll see that that's changed so that's very similar to how all your presentation type packages work that you can actually create a chart you can make those edits outside the presentation package and then once you are done finishing those changes it's then inserted back into the presentation package in this case that would be impress next if I wanted to go up to insert and insert another slide I can do that and again I can go over to the thumbnails over here and I can choose what type of layout I would like or what would fit best for that particular slide in this case let's just say I wanted to do a bulleted slide so I can then just click over here and I can type in like this is first bullet I can then click up here and say this is the heading now this is just showing you example of some of the quick edits that you can make within this software so if I clicked on this is the heading and let's say I wanted to highlight that and I want to go up to format now character. I can bring up the character box and if I wanted to I can change many different things with this heading for instance if I wanted to click on Arial black and I wanted to make that heading a little larger I can make it 48 point and I can click OK and you'll see that that's changed now if I go back up to format character I can actually go into font effects if I wanted to change that color of that font to let's say a like maybe a gold color let's see or maybe orange I'll just say orange so if I wanted to make that an orange color I can do that and you'll see that that heading turned orange now I can go up to format character again and I can actually create a shadow onto that heading and if I do that and click OK you'll see now that I have a shadow now there's other different effects that you can do within the headings but that's just a couple I'm just showing you this to give examples that there are a lot of similarities between this and PowerPoint not only is this package simple to use um, the other thing is is that it has a lot of flexibility it's a very powerful program you can do many things with it one of the things I like about impress is it has these little tabs above the slide and right now we're looking at the normal view this is where you would do most of your editing per slide but they actually have an outline view a notes view a handout view and one thing that I use a lot in PowerPoint um, that you can use in impress is they have a slide sorter view now the slide sorter view is great if you want to take a slide and you want to actually move it around so if I wanted to make that slide number two I just click and drag 
Now one of the things that you can do is you can actually make a duplicate. But you do that by hitting control C on your keyboard and then control V. So if I hit control C and control V as in Victor, you'll see that I can actually place this slide before or after. So if I say after, there, it makes a duplicate of that slide just by hitting control C and control V. So if I go back to normal view, again, I'm, I'm viewing my slide, um, and this is where I would do most of my editing in this normal view.